Hey everyone, welcome to All Techies. I'm Pankaj Rai and in this series of Jetpack Compose Zero to Hero Crash Course, today I'm going to talk about the MVVM architecture. Well, MVVM architecture is one of the most commonly used architecture while creating Android application. In this, model and view do not interact with each other. Rather, view model act as the intermediary between UI and the model. That means from the source of originator, either it could be from network or from your local repositories, you get the data, update to view model, uh, and then view model update that content back to UI. Let's see this in action. Let's create the user repo first. Now inside this user repo, let's have a function get live user count. Now our overall objective is not just to call this method but also to get the content from this method back to view model. For that what we are going to do is that we are going to return flow object. So we'll use flow and inside this, let's create a counter value as zero. And then while counter is less than 100, that means run from counter zero to 99, add a delay of one second, then emit counter. Finally, let's increase the counter value. So what we are doing here is that we have this function which is returning the flow object. Inside this, we have the counter. This counter will emit its value after every one second. That's where we said delay of one second. Emit, that means send this counter value and then increase the value. So what it's going to do is that on this function, because it is returning the flow object, so we are going to call collect method, which is nothing but the terminal operator. The moment we call collect, then as soon as we emit the content from this flow builder, it will receive the content automatically. So this one was with flow builder. But say if you are doing a network call and it returns data based on some sort of callback. What happens during those cases? Say if we have a function called get user details and then you are doing a network call this network call will give you data based on the callback packet. So how could you pass the data from this repository back to view model? So for that, there are two ways. Either you could create a mutable state flow object. Which will also need the default value. This could either be null or whatever content which you are passing on or you could have a mutable live data. So any one of them is okay. Either you could have this or that. Then eventually from callback so based on callback you could either say mutable live data dot value equals to whatever value which you are getting or mutable state flow dot value whatever content which you want to pass on you could say any one of them And then eventually you could either return mutable state flow or mutable live data. So for the simplicity, let me take out this live data and let me show only with state flow. So say that get user detail is a method 
in this method you are doing a network call this network call is based on the callback mechanism so that whenever you get the data you want to pass on this data from this repo to view model and then eventually you want to show that to UI so you do your network call here the moment you get the data on this mutable state flow you call dot value and assign it back to this mutable state flow and finally you return this mutable state flow object as a state flow that's it so just by this what will happen is that this function will immediately return mutable state flow object and then as soon as the content of this mutable state flow changes it will trigger a callback based on the collect terminal operator wherever you're using it and eventually in our case it's nothing but the view model so that it will send the data from this repo back to view model okay now let me show how we can pass data by calling this get live user count method so for that let's create a view model so let's create user view model this should extend view model and now if you see then this repo is a class and inside this we have this functions so let's pass on this class object too so we'll have user repo user repo and now inside this we'll create private well user live count this will be of mutable state flow object because we are not exposing this object that's why we are setting this as private the object that we are going to expose is user live count this is of type state flow and here we could say user live count as state flow this object we are going to expose finally inside init block let's call user repo dot get live user count dot the terminal operator which is nothing but collect now if you see this collect then this is a suspending function that means it should either be called from a suspending function or from the code in builder so let's have a code in builder for that we'll save you model scope dot launched and inside this launch let's have this okay now what will happen is that as we emit the counter value after delay of every one second this collect will get the data so if you are new to this flow concept then eventually how does it work is by default when the collect receives the value flow then process itself to emit next value so until and unless collect do not receive the value flow will not give the data that's the default behavior but this can be changed now inside collect we'll say underscore user life count dot value equals to it and that's it so as the content changes that means as we emit the counter value we receive it inside collect we set it back to this mutable state flow and then as we are going to expose this object so as soon as the value of this underscore live user count changes we'll see the updated content on ui so for that let's create our composable user live count let's pass on the user view model as the default parameter view model but now one thing which you should observe here is that this is not just a view model with no parameter so it's having a constructor parameter where it requires user repo the reason why we did is just to have the inversion of control that means we know that inside this view model we are getting data from which repository 
where by default you cannot pass the object directly using this view model for that we need to create a view model factory so let's create the view model factory and we'll pass the constructor parameter as the user repo object also this should extend view model provider dot factory and that's it now let's implement the method on create we'll say return if model class is assignable from our user view model if this is true then we could say user view model user repo as t else throw illegal argument exception user view model type is expected okay so we have the user view model factory using this view model factory we are going to pass the user repo object now how can we pass it so for that if you see this method then it accepts factory so we will pass factory as a parameter to this view model method we'll say user view model factory and we'll say user repo and that's it okay now we have our view model object ready with us so we want to show this on UI so we'll use text composable and now the case is we need to fetch the data from the user view model so for that we'll say val counter equals to user view model dot user life count if you see this object then it's of state flow type so for state flow type if we want to observe the content as soon as the content of this object changes we need to call collect as a state now because we have called this method so as soon as the content of this which is nothing but underscore user life count changes this composable will recompose itself so that it could update the content on UI now here we could say counter dot value dot to string also let's change the size to 36 SP so that we could see it clearly and finally now we just have to call this composable that's it let's see this in action so here it is now after every one second delay we'll see the content getting updated on UI here it is this content is coming from user repo because we have the flow object here we have defined that until this counter is less than 100 that means until this counter reaches the value 99 first add a delay of one second before changing the counter value also emit the counter value that means to the place where we have called collect method onto this to that send this counter value and where we did this is inside our view model so if you see our user view model then on this user app object we are calling this method get live user count then we are calling the terminal operator which is nothing but collect as we emit the content collect receives the content so as the collect receives the content 
we are setting it to the mutable state flow object then eventually we are observing this in our composable so for that what we did is that we taken this object as a state flow and then here we have called collect as state so that as the value changes it will recompose and update on UI so that's it for this video where I've talked about how you can implement MVVM architecture in your app built with Jetpack Compose. If you have liked this video, then please do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel so as to get the content related to Android, Kotlin and Firebase. Thank you and stay tuned.